welcome guys now let's discuss our uh, topic that we were uh, started in our last lecture that is voltage source converters uh, basically uh, previously we have discussed uh, thyristors or converters uh, data uh, those were basically current based so we can see also the type of converters we have discussing uh, before is current based so you can see these type of thyristors are current source converters so it means that uh, when the current is flowing through this uh, thyristors uh, the gate will not close even though the voltage is reverse biased so this is the disadvantage of this type of thyristors that uh, the gate will remain open unless the current is completely stopped although the voltage polarity is reversed so this is this type of uh, thyristors are called current source thyristors or converters but uh, with the passage of time the technology developed and the first time ebb introduced this new type of thyristors uh, new type of uh, converters uh, which are called as voltage source converters so these uh, converters are basically are light in weight and you can see the converter station and the, the symbolic diagram of uh, uh, voltage uh, source converters they, 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 that are uh, called as vsc converters so this is the equation that you can see uh, by this equation power is transmitted uh, vsc uh, can generate and absorb reactive power power flow is cha changed by shift voltage waveform changing power angle so this is the uh, basically voltage source converter we will now uh, ch check a comparison between these two converters in detail so uh, here is the con uh, basically uh, comparison between uh, vscs voltage source converters and line commuted converters uh, lccs uh, h for hvdc stations so line commuted converters are current sourced converters and they are basically thyristor based technology so this is the old technology that were in use later on the new technology was introduced first time by abb and that is voltage source converters these are light in weight and, and they they are also economical to use so these are self commutated converters and in this one the technology that is used is transistor that are called igbt uh, gto based technology here basically we have shown uh, the different quadrants of uh, line commutated commuters commutated uh, uh, converters versus self commutated converters so vsc is preferable to use on transmission line motor drives and here line commutated converters uh, are really preferable for very few applications and also line commutated and current source commutated both are really suitable for line commutated hvdc thyristors large industrial rectifiers so this this is the example of uh, schemes uh, here you can see the uh lcc hvdc and vsc hvdc difference uh, lcc hvdc uh, line uh, commutated converters are current sourced whereas vsc hvdc are voltage sourced it mean that uh, uh, line commutated converters will continue conducting when current is available whereas uh, and even even though uh lccs can operate in uh, uh can conduct and operate in reverse uh, voltages even the voltage is become negative they will keep on operating whereas vsc are self commutated and they operate on voltage source when if the, they can only operate when the voltage is in forward direction uh, another thing is for lcc is they are line commutated and and vsc hvdc is that they are self commutated okay there are for more uh, uh, comparison between vsc uh, versus uh, current source converters L lcc converters use semiconductors which can withstand voltage in either polarity that we have discussed 
VSC HVDC use semiconductor which can pass current in either direction. Okay, this is the difference and LCC HVDC output voltage can be either polarity to change power direction, VSC HVDC output voltage polarity does not change. So, in this one polarity can change in HVDC whereas HV, um, LCC and VSC the polarity does not change. Current direction does not change in LCC HVDC whereas current direction changes to change power direction in VSC HVDC. So, in order to change the current direction in LCC you have to change the polarity of the uh, basically voltage itself. So, it is not possible to change the current direction itself. Okay, next thing is store energy inductively LCCs whereas VSC store energy capacitively. So, the main uh, storing device in LCCs are basically reactors that we have seen the reactors are connected to the line whereas VSCs they are using capacitors. LCCs use semiconductor which can turn by control action uh, whereas VSC HVDCs use semiconductors which can turn on or off by control action. So, this is the another difference turn off and commutation rely on external circuit. Turn off is independent of external circuit. So, this is uh, the difference. Okay, this is the diagram which is showing uh, power flow control in HVDC um, and the power quality is also shown here in FSC uh, facts SVC Stratcom for utility industries and power supply is also shown here. This is a diagram which is explaining that uh, which technology uh, is used for power transmission uh, at, at different voltage levels and different current levels. So, this is uh, self explanatory. So, uh, again we can have another comparison LCC uh, high power capability, PE device current capability. So, VSC HVDC lower power capability, PE device currently uh, current cap capability. So, it is uh, LCC are good overload capacity, uh, VSCs uh, have weak overload capacity. LCC requires stronger AC system, uh, VSC operate into a weaker AC system. So, LCC HVDC black start capability require additional equipment, black start capability does not require additional equipment in VSC HVDC. LCC generator harmonic distortion AC and DC harmonic filter required, whereas in VSC insignificant level of harmonic generation hence no filter required this is advantage of VSC. LCC coarser reactive power control, the reactive power control is not that much fine and VSC HVDC final reactive power control. LCC HVDC we have large site area dominated by harmonic filter whereas in VSC's compact size site area 50-60 percent of LCC site area. So, the VSC's are compact. So, this is the advantages, disadvantages and comparisons. VS, uh, LCC HVDC require converter transformer continuous DC voltage stress whereas VSC HVDC use of conventional transformer symmetrical mon monopole. H LCC HVDC lower station losses whereas in VSC HVDC higher station losses. LCC HVDC lower cost uh, VSC HVDC it has a higher cost. LCC HVDC has higher high reliability whereas VSC HVDC low reliability due to high component count. LCC HVDC more mature technology whereas VSC HVDC less mature technology because it is developed latest. Power is uh, LCC HVDC power is reversed by changing polarity of converters whereas power is reversed by reverse by changing direction of current flow. So, this we have seen that if you want to change the polar the direction of current you have to completely change the polarities from station A to B in LCCs. Whereas in VSCs uh, power flow direction can be reversed no need to change the polarity of the voltages. Require use of MI cables higher voltage capability this LCC. 
uh, whereas in VSC ideal use for use with XLP cables lower voltage capabilities. So these are the this is the comparison a uh, very basic comparison between LCCs and VSC comparisons. So always there are calculations uh, cost calculations that for a particular uh, power transmission and for particular distance which is more feasible. So now more and more uh, VSCs uh, are employed in HPDC systems. So this is the end of this section. Thank you.